Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I suspect that if you went to high school or college in the United States, you, at one time or another, read something by the 19th century American author Nathaniel Hawthorne. Perhaps it was one of his novels, The Scarlet Letter, or The House of the Seven Gables, or maybe one of his short stories like Young Goodman Brown. Did you know that he had a daughter who became a Catholic and founded a religious congregation of women? Her name was Rose, and she died on this day in 1926 after 26 years as a religious who came to be known as Mother Alfonza. Her community, which they called Servants of Relief for Incurable Cancer, was founded at a time when cancer was thought to be contagious. Anyone diagnosed with it had to leave the hospital so as not to expose others to the dreaded disease. If they were well-to-do, they could hire a nurse to care for them at home. But in most cases, many ended up destitute. And in the New York area where Rose lived, they were sent to a poorhouse on Blackwell's Island in the middle of the East River. Rose's heart went out to them, and she dedicated herself to caring for them in their tenements with the hope of one day finding a place where she could offer them a home. She took out an ad in the newspaper which ran, Let the poor, the patient, the destitute, and the hopeless receive from our compassion what we would give to our own families. This is all, yet it requires the sacrifice of your life. But that is why Christ asked it and blesses with unending reward the simple choice. A woman named Alice Huber was intrigued by the ad and responded, and thus began what has come to be known as the Hawthorne Dominican Sisters. And though today we know that cancer is not contagious, those who have it still need a place they can call home as they near the end of their journeys. The Hawthorne Dominicans are there in cities around the U.S. to give them such a home.